let's unbox a brand new Gabor style called Own the Room in a Beautiful Brunette. Coming up. I purchased this wig style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video, expand the description box. I'll attach a direct product link there. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media, a private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, a fully loaded Instagram page, and a lot of variety on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. All of those links are below. So let's get to unboxing Own the Room in GF 924 SS, which is Shaded Iced Latte. Beautiful brunette. I've had this one other time on a Raquel Welch style. Love it. Now again, these colors are gonna sound familiar because they're the same identical colors that are in the heat-friendly Raquel Welch line. This is a part of the Gabor's Luxury Designer Series. These styles are heat-friendly. Beautiful cap features. I've loved every one that I have tried. So that's why you're gonna see some familiar colors on this. This is also made from the True to Life fiber, which is the same fiber being used on the uh, Raquel Welch heat friendly line. So if you're familiar and like that fiber, you're gonna love this fiber as well. Okay, there you go. Gosh, isn't that just gorgeous? A straight medium length layered cut. It has some breezy looking layers according to the manufacturer's photos and they're very flattering around the face. So let's get started, get it on, right? I do wanna show you the inside of the cap first so that we can go over everything. These caps by Gabor in that designer series are phenomenal. They remind me very much of what we can expect from the Raquel Welch line. So there's an extended lace front. That extends all the way back, almost near the end of that ear tap. Wow, that's gonna give a beautiful look from the front, a lot of styling, versatility here. And then you have a left monofilament part that extends all the way back to the crown. A nice wide parting space, a beautiful contour. I'm expecting a lot from this wig. Um, the density on this one seems to be a little heavier than some of the others that I've tried, but you should still be able to get the illusion of scalp look through that monofilament lace. Okay, a closed ear tab, nice long sturdy stays. Love how they built in that lace. It's just seamless around there. An extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters. Lots of wefting and darting. I imagine this is gonna be a wonderfully made, comfortable cap to wear, but we're gonna assess the fit when I try it on. So now I'm gonna remove the tag. Okay, so without making any adjustments, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and give you an assessment of the fit. Uh, typically, the Legacy Gabor styles typically fit me a little large. Um, so I am curious to see how this one does. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love the style. I adore this color. I had it on the style big time by Raquel Welch. Perfect, it's just my kind of brunette. If I were a brunette and wore a lot of brunette, this would definitely be one that I would consider on a lot of styles. Okay, so the fit, this is very important to note. This is a very average cap. In fact, the other two uh, Gabor styles in this designer series have been closer to average than the average large that I'm used to with Gabor. So just keep that in mind. There's no way for me to be able to say if it can stretch to large, I have no way of measuring that, but I have a petite average circumference and I know just, I could have left it just like that, but I really should, to make it secure, I really should go in and make an adjustment, okay? So now that I have it off, let's go ahead and shake it awake. Work out that part just a little bit. The fiber feels beautiful. It's a hardier denier, 
what you're used to by Raquel Welch in that True to Life. You're going to find that same kind of denier here. This is a nice lush density, very similar to the density on the Big Time by uh, Raquel Welch. Look at that layering just come to life under my fingers. And look how they've done that highlighting around the face. Oh, it's just, it's really glorious. It's a beautiful, beautiful style. Wow, it is beautiful. So I wasn't really sure what to expect in terms of density. And this is a, a more medium to heavier density on this particular piece. It kind of reminds me of the nice move by Raquel Welch in terms of its density. Just a thicker, lusher type density. Um, it has these beautiful feathery layers though. See how they're just feathered back into the style? I mean, I haven't done a thing, right? Um, it's got a real retro flair to it, and I love that highlight application along those layers. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's discuss this color real quick before I move on to specs. So this uh, GF924SS Shaded Iced Cafe Latte. Big mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> um, it starts with a medium brunette, a medium to light brunette, and this is kind of a neutral brunette. And then you're going to see some highlighting here of a pale gold blonde. Now, it does not appear too yellow or too gold. So this overall to me, because this brown seems to be so neutral, I feel like this is a neutral brunette, that it's not overly warm or overly yellow in tone. So the front piece is that first layer is going to be about nine inches. It stretches about three, three and a half inches below my chin. But again, it kind of feathers back and joins up with the other layering just to give that feathery, wispy appearance. Overall, now I did not measure this, but overall it feels like it's 15 to 16 inches to me, okay? And the layering is just exquisite on this. And I can't tell you how beautiful this cap feels. It just feels like a Raquel Welch. That's the only thing I can compare it to because it has that level of luxury. The specs from the manufacturer state that it's about 4.6 ounces. Um. You know, I think that the density is a little more lush and I feel like it might, it could probably stretch up to five ounces, but I'm not good at being able to discern that without actually weighing the style. I don't have any way of doing that. Just know that it has a more of a lush density and a nice hearty uh, luxury cap. So let's go ahead and get up close to the lace. I'm excited about this because again, we looked at it and it extends all the way back through the ear tab beautiful. Look at all of that real estate that that lace front takes up there. There's no visible seams. There's wonderful coverage. And then that monofilament that goes all the way back to that hind crown. Now I'm going to have to work at breaking up that part. So I just kind of like to rake that and sometimes uh, just move tease it over a little bit closer to center I don't I, I am shocked that I really don't have to do much at all I mean you know me and it's really cold down here today but um if I can get enough heat to my hand we'll see if it's responsive this is heat friendly so I could always take you know a heat tool to it to create the the up and over but again I feel like this front doesn't have any baked in lift. It has a forward movement and it likes to hug the head all the way down. So to get your up and over, you may have to change up the front a little bit just to get some resistance or use heat and styling product. I mean, it's beautiful just like it is. And it kind of stays out of the face too uh, because of that feathery action of those layers. Permatease. So let's assess permatease. There is some permatease here. It's not a lot. It is definitely not as much as that nice move 
by Raquel Welch. Definitely not that much, nor is it needed. Um, it's enough to cover weftings. I don't feel any of that soft, pillowy type bulky permatees at all. So what that tells me is that we can probably get a little bit of a slimmer profile. You can see where I've brought a little bit of lift to life. Now, is it sustainable? I may need some product uh, to sustain that lift. So what I would do is I would turn it upside down and I would spray it down with like a, a texturizing dry shampoo or wig wax product or something. And when I turn it back over, it should have a lot more volume that is more sustainable. So wow, we're definitely gonna own the room in this style. I can see this being a beautiful, elegant uh, office type wig style where you've got this meeting and you just have to look spectacular. I feel like it would be beautiful for a special occasion or, you know, like with me, if I'm just kind of picking and fluffing and creating some texture and a more, just a more casual everyday girl next door type of look, very versatile. Let's try with glasses. Glasses fit nicely between the ear and the ear tab on the style, no problem. There's very little permatease in that area. So glasses friendly, everyday wig style. So I'm just gonna manipulate and toss it around. You can get a sense of the volume, the density. We can show the potential in styling. Everybody have a great day. Let me know what you think of this style in the comments below. We'll see you soon, right here at Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Thank you.